Leviticus, the 19th chapter, Leviticus, the 19th chapter, you can get to it from the front of the book. You got Genesis, Exodus, and then you got Leviticus. If you go to Numbers or Deuteronomy, you've gone too far to your right. So we're starting at the front of the book. But before we go there, I just thought about it. We had a question about Amos, Amos 9.3. I forgot about that. Amos 9.3, we had a question from last week. And I went back and I did some studying on Amos 9.3. So I've got to deviate for just a moment because I want to make sure that we, we tr- attempt to answer that question. Um, could we re-ask that question again, please? And I'll see if we can provide an answer out of Amos 9.3, and then we'll get into Leviticus 19. So my question was is that if we take everything else literally, right, like all the lower verses, right? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, how can we can't take, I mean, how come we don't take that one in the same context? Like, why do we think that one's a metaphor and the other one's a little literal? Okay, okay, yes, 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 yes. Um, this uh, particular verse that's being referred to is Amos 9, 3, where it says, And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, Thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Okay, in this particular context, uh, chapter 9 is talking about, uh, Amos chapter 9 is talking about the northern kingdom of Israel, which are these guys right here, and how they've been disobedient to God, and now God's going to uh, put down his, his wrath on them. And in Amos 9.3, uh, along with the other portions of Amos, the ninth chapter, it's talking about, that there is no escape from the wrath of, of God once uh, you have, for lack of a better word, uh, once you have disobeyed God, there are consequences that must be paid. And even, and it says in there, even if you go to the top of the mountain, God will still find you. Even if you were to go to the lowest depths of the ocean, God would send a, a serpent to bite you. And I looked up the word serpent in the uh, 1828 Webster's Dictionary, which would be the closest definition or meaning to a 1611 King James Bible and uh, a serpent is actually described as uh, some type of uh, sea creature some uh, amphibious sea creature potentially something that's extinct now or potentially something that's still alive that God could send to to bite that individual who's at the bottom of the ocean trying to escape God and so um, it is possible that um, Amos 9.3 could be literal, where someone could literally go to the top of the mountain or they could literally swim to the bottom of the ocean to try to escape God. But the point of the matter is, is that no matter where they go, God is going to find them and exact his judgment upon that individual. All right. So it may be, it, it may not be a metaphor, uh, but just how it reads, it, it could also be a, a, a metaphor. Just basically saying there is no escape from the wrath of God. So I'm sorry, that's the best I can do. <laughs> okay. Um, 